My name is Neil Donnelly. I'm an ear, nose and throat consultant at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. There are broadly three types of hearing loss. The first is conductive hearing loss, where usually the inner ear is capable of hearing normally. However, there is a problem with the conduction of that sound. Secondly, you can have an inner ear hearing loss, where there's either a problem with the delicate hairs, which convert the mechanical energy of sound into an electrical signal, or a problem with the nerve, which takes that electrical signal to the brain. And that's referred to as a sensory neural hearing loss. And then thirdly, you've got a mixed hearing loss where there's a combination of both a conductive and a sensory neural hearing loss. To establish what hearing loss there is, we perform something called a hearing test, where we measure what a patient's able to hear both through the air and via the inner ear. The mainstay of hearing rehabilitation is a hearing aid, which but straightforwardly just amplifies sound. There are some people who, despite having sound amplification, aren't able to benefit from that, and there are other people who aren't able to wear a hearing aid, and those are the people where we would look at different forms of hearing implant to rehabilitate their hearing loss. So a cochlear implant is a form of hearing aid where the inner ear is stimulated directly, um, electrically, rather than a normal hearing aid where it just makes sound louder. And there are two aspects to a cochlear implant. There's the implantable bit with a package which goes under the scalp and then a wire that leads through and is placed in the inner ear to stimulate the nerves of the inner ear. And then there's an external part which takes the sound that we hear breaks it up into its constituent frequency and then stimulates the package underneath the skin to deliver the electrical message to the inner ear. So the surgery is an operation which usually takes anywhere between an hour and three hours. It involves a small cut behind the ear and then the bone behind the ear is opened up to give access to the inner ear and then the electrode is fed into the inner ear and the receiver stimulator package placed underneath the scalp. When the wound is closed up, normally it's fully healed within a couple of weeks. Most patients will then wait about two to six weeks, depending on where they are, for the device to be activated. If somebody feels that they are struggling with their hearing, then they should seek referral from their GP. But if you've got somebody who's got a hearing aid and is no longer getting benefit from that, then this is somebody who is approaching probable cochlear implant criteria. And at that stage, it would be worth getting referred into an implant center for assessment by a GP, an audiologist, if they already have one because of their hearing aids or by another ENT surgeon. The assessment process is usually pretty quick and in some cases can be the same day and somebody will find out whether they meet the criteria and can make a decision as to whether they wish to proceed down that route.